Hey everybody, today we are going to make a little ocean scene and really it's a value scale. Remember a value is from dark to light in one color family. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Uh, this is my daughter's example. She's five. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So the materials that we're going to need for this are a plain sheet of paper. I just have regular um, computer paper, but if you had white construction paper, that might be a little sturdier, but don't worry if you don't. A thicker piece of something, I used a paper plate, but you could use anything. You really could even just use another piece of paper. And I cut that into like a wave shape. So you're gonna need some scissors. We're gonna need some glue. And then either maybe some black or gray construction paper. And if you don't have construction paper, you could also use, again, just regular paper and cut it into triangles and then use markers. But I'm gonna use construction paper. Okay, so to get started on this, we're gonna use our paper plate um, across our um, paper like this, okay? And what we're going to do is we are going to um, draw uh, lines with our chalk and we're going to start, again, a value scale is just dark to light in one color family. So since I'm doing water, I'm gonna use, oh, I forgot to tell you that I'm using um, chalks. Okay, oil pastels would work for this as well, but I'm gonna use chalks because that's what I have at home. Okay, so I'm going to use light blue dark blue black if i can get it out and my white all right so we have light blue and regular blue but we need to start with our blue being as light as we can get it so at first i'm going to blend it with white and then i'm going to start working my way down okay so what i need to do first is i am going to and i keep flipping my plate over and back and forth um, cause I'm trying to figure out how to draw my waves correctly. Okay. If you use this side of the plate, you're going to get like bumpy waves. If you use the, this side of the plate, you'll get more of a wavy line. Either way works fine. Okay. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to do this kind of, I'm just going to work quickly cause I'm doing it on the video, but you guys take your time with this a little bit. I'm just going to drag it across the plate and down on the paper. You guys might hear my baby in the background. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with a little bit of blue and I need a lot of white because it is going to be my lightest shade. So I'm gonna go a couple times back and forth with my white because I want my lightest shade. If you see my daughter's example, we started with the light um, blue at the top okay now this is really important don't move your plate okay I'm going to take my finger and I'm gonna drag and blend my white and my blue don't move your plate okay now we can move our plate and we'll have this nice white area <laughs> you also hear my baby crying can you go help him can you go talk to him all right, now I'm gonna move my plate down a little bit. And now I'm, I'm gonna take my white out and I'm just gonna do a regular blue. It's still the lighter blue. I'm just dragging it across the plate, a little paper. And then I don't move the plate and I'm going to just blend it down. And now pick up. Okay, so we did like a lighter version, and then we had blue. So now I'm going to go to, maybe I'll mix these two. So I'm starting to get a little darker as I go. A Little bit more of this color. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of this darker color. Okay. 
and don't move your plates and blend it down. Okay, now I can pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna go down a little bit and I'm gonna do a regular blue this time. And then blend it down. You could do this exact same project with a um, landscape scene. You could turn it into mountains and you could do dark to light with your greens and make it hills and mountains. Um, all right, so at the very end, we're gonna go with a little blue and a little black. Black, you don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to just put my blue in here. And a little black. Like I said, a little bit of black goes a long way. And we want it to end up as much black as we can at the bottom, just so it's a true value scale. I'm gonna put some links on our um, website about value scale. We always listen to some fun value scale songs in class, so I'll put the links to those as well. All right, so now we've gone from our lightest shade of blue to our darkest shade of blue by adding whites and blacks. And We've got some um, spots here that we maybe could go back and do another row of blues. But keep in mind, if you go back and add in, now that we have have black up on our paper plate, you're going to get more of an effect like my daughter's who ended up smudging some blacks in, which looks really cool too because waves have different darker and lighter colors. Or you can keep it as a true value scale where you don't add in but I'll show you what it looks like if you go back up and if you add in some colors, okay? So you'll end up getting a darker wave because we already had the darks in our plate right here. Okay, so here are our waves going from dark to light. I'm gonna get a wipe. You can go wash your hands or use a wipe like we usually do in the art room. I have a baby, so I've got wipes on hand. Remember at home, do a good job cleaning up behind yourself so your parents are more likely to let you do art more often, the better you clean up. I'm gonna give my table a little bit of a wipe, so before I move on, okay? And then I'm going to grab my scissors and my paper. I'm gonna cut some triangles to make some shark fins. While you're doing this, you could YouTube some videos on sharks, so you can have a little background going on. Okay, so we're gonna take these and we're gonna glue these down into our little waves to look like shark fins swimming through. You could leave it just like this as a basic triangle, or if you wanna get real precise with it, you could actually kind of curve the shark fin a little bit. Hello, goodbye. 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 And maybe even kind of fit it into the wave a little bit more to make them look like real shark fins. Also, if you want to get real detailed with it, you could talk about perspective and you could make your shark fins larger here and smaller as they go back into the waves. That would be talking about perspective, okay? So I'm gonna, this one seems to be a little bit of my biggest one, so I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna put it closer to the front. Okay, so a little, a little dot of glue behind these. Remember, a dot of glue is all you need. Glue these, you can put as many sharks swimming in your waves as you want. All right, guys, here we go. That's our finished um, value scale from dark to light. Remember, value is just one color, adding white and adding black, so you get different shades and tints of that same color. And again, you could do this with a mountain scene as well, with just greens and adding blacks and whites for different hills. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.